testing the flight time of the DJI Mavic 2 Enterprise Advanced and the Autel Evo 2 Dual 640T. We're gonna put them head to head, don't go anywhere. Hey everybody, David here from Aerial Influence. So we wanted to take the two drones that are really sort of uh, taking over the public safety and inspection fields. Uh, that's the DJI Mavic 2 Enterprise Advanced, especially that one, that one, you know, with DJI, it's huge. So, so that one is really, really popular with public safety and with all sorts of different industries. But the Autel Evo 2 Dual 640T is coming up. A lot of people really, really like this drone. They're making some changes as they advance the technology. They're getting a smart controller. So both of these drones are great and nobody is gonna be disappointed if they pick up either one of these drones. Although I do think the DJI with the attachments, et cetera, is more ready for prime time right now. But we wanted to put the flight times to the test, got a little bit of a windy day. So DJI says that the Mavic 2 uh, can fly in 24 mile per hour winds. Uh, I think that's kind of low, actually. I think it could probably do better than that. And Autel says that their drone, the Evo 2, uh, has a wind resistance of 39 miles an hour. I think that's actually probably pretty high. I wouldn't want to fly in those conditions. So we've got a relatively windy day today. Uh, I don't think it's going to push the limits on either one of these, uh, but I'll put up the information right now uh, of the current wind speed and the wind gusts as well. And obviously, the higher you go, the higher the wind gusts get. So I don't think they're gonna get their full potential time. Uh, Autel says you're gonna get 40 minutes out of theirs. I don't think that's right. I think on a really, really nice day with no wind, you'll probably get 35 minutes. DJI says you're gonna get 31 minutes out of their drone. I don't think that's true. Uh, even on a non-windy day, you're gonna get like 25 minutes. Today, it's windy. We're probably gonna see much lower time. So essentially the way I tested these flight times, it's not scientific by any means. I just made a bunch of waypoints and had the drones fly those waypoints until basically their battery ran out. So let's take a look at it. The Autel Evo 2 Dual 640T versus the DJI Mavic 2 Enterprise Advance. We're testing their flight time. Take a look. So the Autel Evo 2 Dual had it almost by four minutes over the DJI Mavic 2 Enterprise Advance. That four minutes might not seem like a lot, but when you are out on a mission, that four minutes can mean a lot. You know what? I don't think anybody's gonna be disappointed in either one of these drones. They both performed at less than what the manufacturer says they will. That's understandable. We had some pretty high winds today, especially wind gusts. And when you get higher again, the wind gusts are gonna get higher and higher. Uh, so both of them perform pretty well, but less than what the manufacturer says. But the Autel wins out in this category. We've done a bunch of videos where we compare all sorts of different features, the zoom range, the thermal, and we do a head-to-head -head comparison on the best one of these two drones that you should pick out. So check those videos out as well. We appreciate you stopping by. We'll see you next time.